if you've got one of these old Rockwells, this is like when multi-tools kind of first hit the scene. Uh, it's got a hex setup for your bits and those have all but disappeared. I bought this, used it like crazy on my house. And to be honest, you know, it kind of sat. I probably reused some tooling that I had for a while. And eventually I needed more and I found that stuff really didn't fit. This guy's kind of thick and that went on there but it kind of bent that you can't really see that too much with that one uh this scraper tool here i wanted to put that on there had to cinch it down as tight as i possibly could and uh it ended up cracking and breaking and i went back to get some more because i'm trying to take the seal out of the back window of that truck over there i got thinking i was like there's got to be an adapter so i searched while i was buying these couldn't find nothing Kind of forgot about it, came out to the shop the other night, and was like, oh yeah, what about Amazon? So, I found these. Uh, see, people have paid like 20 bucks before, maybe a little bit more. I bought it for $8. And basically, it fits over that. Now, the reviews say that these little nubs, you can see them, will sometimes wear off. Now, I don't trust anybody because everybody does all kinds of stuff wrong all the time. So I'm going to make sure that these nubs are nicely seated right there. And I'm going to add the clamp and make sure I tighten it down very well. And then I will give this thing heck on that rear window and we'll see how it lasted. Uh, the part actually is a Rockwell part so they made it for this thing and the scraper blade that I'm using is a DeWalt I will throw links to this stuff all this stuff in the uh, description uh, if you do buy from it I do earn something so you know don't buy if you don't want to help support me um, but I just kind of show you stuff that I like I use or I'm reviewing if you want to see another cool possibly tool review this is going to be the next one it's a power probe i picked up for about 70 bucks something like that uh, seems pretty good uh, from its capabilities so i'm going to give that a run through shortly and i'll share that with you guys too right over here over the wherever through the woods around all the crap and stuffed in between these cabinets that I can't hold myself responsible enough to close. And thunder thighs over here. So this was a split window uh, with a slider and the center and this side were smashed out of it. Now what I did was I actually pulled the headliner, the rear panel, the rear seats, all that good stuff. And I just kind of cut down at an angle like that with the saw, the saw blade that I showed you over there. And that worked really good. So I became an expert at cutting the windows out once they're smashed. That one would have been harder, so gave that a little knock too. Now I ran the other scraper on the other side over there. That's cleaned up pretty well. I got a little bit of work to do in the top and all this stuff around here. One thing I always loved about this tool was how long the cord was. I tell you, I almost uh, broke down and bought me a new Milwaukee. But then, you know, I found a solution potentially for $8. I figured I'd give it a try. If this doesn't work out, you can bet that I will be adding another tool to my collection. Butter. That is phenomenal. And it should be good to go. So I'm gonna clean this up with uh, a little bit of uh, wax and grease remover before I actually install the window, which should be in tomorrow. Um, they do make kits. Well, all the tools were in there. They're scattered all about here um, to take windows out. But uh, the $30 Amazon set, don't recommend. This solution, however, seems to work pretty good. Uh, I think this guy's pretty well dull right now. So probably two good blades like this would take a uh, take one of these windows out. Is that a good deal? I don't know. 
Um, but it's what worked. Let's go check out the tool. Now, disclaimer, it's the first window I've ever done. So, you know, if you professionals out there are gonna tell me I did it wrong, you're probably right. All right, so I'm going to inspect this adapter now. So some of the complaints I was seeing was that the pins start cutting through. And I definitely see a little bit of scarring on the pins, but it did get the job done for today. So anyhow, um, if you want to give it a shot, check out the link in my description. Uh, I'll show you some of the other bits that I've got for this that I like as well. Uh, if you click and buy there, I do earn something, so keep that in mind. I do try to find best prices and uh, good tools, and I would say this one's medium. You know, it, it solved my problem for today um, for $8. I would have bought these things anyhow. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you want to see the next cool tool review.